So here are our triad chords made of three notes in the key of C. The first chord in the key, the key of C, the chord of C is a major chord and it gets a Roman numeral one. The capital Roman numeral one means it's a major chord. The second chord in the key gets a Roman numeral two. It's a minor chord, it's D minor. The third chord gets a Roman numeral three. It's also a minor chord, it's E minor. The fourth chord in the key is the chord of F and it gets a Roman numeral capital four because it's a major chord. And so is the fifth one. G major is also a major chord, so it gets a capital five. The sixth chord relating to the note starting on A is a minor chord, so it gets a Roman numeral six, like that. And the seventh chord, well, it's not major or minor, it's diminished, and it gets a little circle beside its derivation. So as you can see, the first chord, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord are all major. The second chord, the third chord, and the sixth chord are all minor, and the seventh chord is diminished. And that is the triad pattern for any major key, whether it's C major, D major, A major, F sharp major, it doesn't matter. That pattern of chords 1, 4, and 5 being major and chords 2, 3, and 6 being minor and chord 7 being diminished is the same. They're built from the same parts of the major scale. At this point, I want to thank my friend Brooks Robertson for cluing me into this, the first guitar camp I went into, one of Tommy Emmanuel's guitar camps in Baton Rouge, where we learned the first part of all this and where I realized what the musical alphabet was all about. In the next video, we're going to go around a circle, the circle of fifths.